Hi, my name is Andy Deitmeyer, chef for Mercy Medical Center in Cedar Rapids. And today we're going to prepare a salad, um, slightly different. Uh, it's going to be a cracked wheat with kale and adamame salad. So in our salad today, we'll obviously have kale, we'll have cracked wheat, uh, and adamame will be the primary components, and then we'll have some other additional components as well. Uh, we have a simple vinaigrette that'll go with this. Um, so let's get started. Here I've got some kale. It's already, I picked through this a little bit. Just kind of remove the, the main rib from that. And we're just going to kind of rough, roughly chop that. Toss it into our bowl. Some red onion. Let's do a fine mince on that. Cucumber. Any shapes you want to do with your vegetables is up to you. It kind of depends on what you want the ultimate look of your salad to be. I got a little red bell pepper also. This would be nice for uh, flavor and for color. So this here is a vegetable based component for our salad. The next part will be adding the cracked wheat. And cracked wheat in its raw state looks um, kind of like uh, barley if you were to crush up barley and from its dry state. Um, very small, almost like cracked up little rice grains. In order to cook that, I just got a pot of boiling water here. You could have this be chicken stock or vegetable stock or just plain water. It's up to you. I'm just going to let that break come up to a boil. Then we'll just turn it down to a nice gentle simmer and let that, uh, let that simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes until the, uh, the grain is actually nice and tender. So it's been about 15, 20 minutes. Our grain is nice and tender now. So we're just going to take it over to the to the sink with a strainer, much like you would with the pasta. Strain off your water. Give it a nice little rinse to, to wash off any excess starch. Let it drain nicely. And here you can see we have our finished product. It's um, at about triples in size, uh, so keep that in mind when you're cooking it. Um, but it has uh, still, a little, it, you'll notice it has a little bit of texture left to it. You want it to have a little bit of texture, um, but it shouldn't be gritty or crunchy. So we'll add this component to our vegetable component of the salad. Now we need to make our vinaigrette. Uh, vinaigrettes are very simple. Um, in its most basic form, it's oil and vinegar. Um, typically, a good rule of thumb is going to be about uh, three parts oil to one part vinegar. Uh, you'll notice um, that is basically what we're doing here, um, with just, just a few additional components to, uh, to give it a specific flavor that we want. Um, so I'll start with some olive oil. And I've got some rice vinegar. Just a touch of soy sauce. A little honey. A 
pinch of salt, a little pepper, and we're just going to whisk this together to, to make our vinaigrette. I said the basis of this was mainly oil and vinegar, and we just added a few extra components. I almost forgot one crucial thing. I got some fresh ginger in this as well for this particular salad. This is going to add just a really nice, uh, fresh, bright flavor to this to this salad, uh, and it'll go really nicely with the soy sauce and the adamame. So with the ginger. We do a really, really nicely fine, uh, fine mince with this ginger, real fine. Because ginger in its raw state is pretty, pretty strong, so you don't want to have a, anybody biting into a real big chunk of, uh, of raw, fresh ginger. So make sure you give it a real nice mince. There you go, and there's our vinaigrette. It's all incorporated nicely. Toss, we'll add our vinaigrette to our salad. And I almost forgot, I have a little adamame here. And I like to add, a, I got some cashews here. This will add a nice flavor, nuttiness, and some crunch. This will be a nice textural component. Give that one last toss. Like a lot of salads, if this was something you're going to maybe be making in advance, you may want to hold the salad or the vinaigrette off to the side and toss it um, right before you're getting ready to serve it. Uh, it'll help kind of retain some of that freshness and, and texture of the vegetables. So it's all nicely tossed and well incorporated. Looks great, smells great. Obviously, we got lots of different colors, lots of different textures, shapes. Nice, interesting looking salad. And there we have it, cracked wheat with kale and adamame.